In the history, with the history of art, at least here in Europe, I cannot talk about any other uh, part of the world, art was supposed to be an expression of timeless beauty. And you can see it in the work of Michelangelo and Raphael and Rembrandt and whatever. That is no longer the case. The, the main objective of art is not longer to, of contemporary is not longer to, to, to create something of an extreme beauty. So why? I, what happened? I think the, 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 the interpretation of beauty has been so narrowed uh, in the contemporary uh, sense. Okay. Uh, at, uh, if you have uh, any um, knowledge about uh, the art in, in Egypt, mm -hmm. so that is not about beauty. That's about, uh, uh, we, we would say, about uh, truth. Mm -hmm. The truth could be inner truth. Mm -hmm. So that can be be, uh, being some kind of religious uh, mm -hmm. meaning uh, mm -hmm. about uh, or understanding of universe and the relationship between human beings and the universe, mm -hmm. which is not really about a so-called beauty. Mm -hmm. The beauty has been over um, emphasized or over uh, exaggerated mm -hmm. by a bourgeois society. Uh, I think uh, it's always about truth and the moral and the beauty. Mm -hmm. So without truth and the moral, there's no such thing as beauty. One of the, the big questions concerning contemporary art is if it's no longer about this bourgeois idea of, of beauty, um, how can we make a distinction between good art and bad art? Or how can we know what, what, what is art? I think uh, for me, art is about a necessity. It's 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 about uh, it's about struggle. It's about human struggle. It's about uh, the deep layers of our humanity, and uh, because our aesthetics always relate to those questioning, you know, of. Uh, um, or philosophy, or or aesthetics, mm -hmm. uh, moral judgment. So mm -hmm. um, that's how I feel. What art is about? The value of art is that a market value, or is it something else? Well, I, I don't think they are. They're talking about the value of art. They're talking about the value of the canvas. You know, it's it's different. I, I think. Uh, um, I think. Uh, Da Vinci would, uh, if it's live, would be totally insulted by this kind of action. And um, the value of art cannot be defined. It's not possible. It's only can be measured uh, in in how it relates to our own um, reality, our own struggle. Otherwise, it's just a bullshit, you know. So if you saw this piece in Africa or in Asia. Maybe in, in the market, people would just step on it, and nobody would care. You know what? What piece of shit is that? But uh, here, of course, you have a lot of uh, other feelings, religious feeling. But I heard it's bought by some very different religious practice. So even people doesn't know where this piece is. So it's 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 art being treated as uh, stock stocks or mm -hmm. or for uh, for people. Who won't buy it for some other reason, uh, which is understandable, but it's nothing to do about the uh, value of art. It's the famous work of art by Weiwei to. How old was this urn? Um, it's uh, about 2000, 2200. 2000, okay. What, what, what would have been its market value? No value. I told you the art has no value. <laughs> Well, I, 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 you can't I, talk about the market value of that photo. Uh -huh. uh, well, okay. what's the market value of that photo? It's already sold a long time ago. Uh, it's not existing anymore. Hmm. <laughs> but what I want to understand is, 
so to drop this urn 2,000 years old. Um, why is it that you wanted to destroy? Because I have another one, you know. <laughs> <laughs> it's and identical, it's the same, you know, it's not different. Okay, so when you have plenty of them, then you... Yeah, it's, it's one too many. <laughs>